Happy Monday, Floss Tube. It is Monday, October 21st. My name is Caroline. Thank you for coming back to visit me today. I hope you're stitching something fun. I haven't had time to stitch yet today, so I'm looking forward to later tonight when I've got a chance to sit down with my stitching. In fact, I haven't done a lot of stitching, <laughs> done a lot of stitching all week. So I think I know this is going to be a very short episode today because I really only worked on my witch's wheel. I think I put one length of thread into Savon and that was it because I have been getting used to and um, bonding with our newest family member who has uh, wormed her way very quickly into our hearts. So I put a little bit of video in at the beginning of Luna our new uh, dog. She's six years old. From We adopted her from the Sarnia Humane Society last Tuesday and uh, I briefly introduced her last week. So I've got a little bit of a little bit of video, tiny little bit of video um, and a couple of pictures. I meant to put them in on Friday but uh, the last week has been a whirlwind. I had to take her to the vet a couple of times and so that was what was happening on Friday and I was a little bit, I, I didn't want to be late uh, to get out the door and so I neglected to put those photos in at the end. So I'll make sure I do that today because she's so sweet. She is so sweet. She's a huge bark. I mean, she's a big dog. She's a big girl uh, and she's got a huge bark. And so she is, uh, she alerts incredibly well. Somebody dropped off something in the mailbox the other day and I didn't know this until later because she alerted in the kitchen and you know she started to bark and I thought you know there's there's nothing around here what 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 are you barking at um and it was uh, somebody had put something in the mailbox so she was letting me know she's a very good girl she's a very good girl she had some big paws to fill because you know Daria was my uh Daria was my special soul dog for many years, and uh, so she's got big paws to fill. She did find one of Daria's old toys that I thought I had put up, but obviously I had left it down. <laughs> she's a little bit taller. I think she's a little taller even than Daria was, and uh, she found it, and she proceeded to rip the ear off within about 30 seconds. So she's quite powerful with her toys, so she needs some... She needs some, you know, those thick rope toys or something because she likes to chew. But she's been very good. She hasn't, you know, she hasn't picked up anything else around the house and destroyed anything. So we're doing just fine. But yeah, I've been kind of in dog mode over the last week and not a lot of stitching has been going on. So I'm going to get right to the giveaways for today. Because Monday giveaways... These happen over on the Facebook group, Friday Off The Grid. I had two giveaways for last week. Uh, the first one was from our favorite girl, Michelle Bendy, Bendy Stitchy Designs. This was the Noel pattern that, uh, that she has generously given to me for a giveaway. I had 109 comments on this chart on the Facebook group. The random number generator chose comment number 64. So congratulations, Vicki Pickstock. Vicki is a fellow Canadian, so congratulations, Vicki. If you want to send me your address, I will get this in the mail to you. It only uses three DMC colors. Check that out. And look at how cute it is. I have a copy for myself, so I am going to be stitching this for my Christmas tree this year. I think even I can finish this and FFO it in time for Christmas because it's nice and small and it's so cute. So cute. Uh, the other chart that I had was another one that was gifted directly from the designer herself, Cheryl, uh, the tiny modernist. I, uh, she was at the Hamilton Stitch Inn that I was at recently and she gifted every one of us a copy of her Let It Snow chart. This one right here, which is fantastic. It's so sweet, this chart. So she gifted one to everyone who was there, and I was a little cheeky and I said, Could I have an extra one to offer up as giveaway on my Floss Tube channel? And she said, Yes. So I picked one up for you. 
I had 232 comments on this and the random number generator chose a really like it co chose comment number 230 so almost right to the very end so number comment number 230 was Tina Fraser so congratulations Tina I've already left you a message on Facebook if you want to go ahead and send me your address that would be great so those were the two charts from last week. I only have one chart for giveaway this week, um, but it's it's actually a full kit. It's a it's a it's a small, but it's got everything in the package that you need to do, and it's it's really really sweet. So this is a Sam Sarah design. Now I know we're nowhere close. I know that we're nowhere close to May, but those of you who are um, you know, not quite ready to get out of the spring summer mode and not ready for fall or Halloween or Christmas. Um, perhaps you might be interested in Sam Sarah Design Studio May Flowers. So this is for those of you who take a while to stitch and finish something so that by the time you're done it, it will be May. <laughs> or next May or the May after that. Who knows? I, I like to stitch things year round. So I, I, give away things that are year-round as well. So this comes with all of the uh, threads and the little piece of fabric are included in the back. Everything that you need to stitch those little flowers, including the little bumblebee charm. I think you can see that. The little bumblebee charm is also included in the package. So full kit. Just a little sweet design. So that's the giveaway that's up for this week and you can enter for this over on the Facebook group. Friday off the grid. Okay, so I mentioned the only thing that I really worked on and really it was Friday night and Saturday when I had some time. It, it's been a, uh, Sarah, Sarah came, she was home unexpectedly this weekend. Uh, so I decided to take advantage of that and spend the time with her. I had, you know, I had planned because John was away and Nicholas and I were just going to hang out in our pajamas. Uh, but Sarah came home unexpectedly and I thought, okay, well, instead of being irritated that you don't have your time by yourself anymore, there's not going to be any more opportunities that she's just going to come home and want to, you know, be at home and, and spend time with you. So enjoy it. And I did. So I'm really glad I did because we always have fun together. So uh, it was nice to hang out with her. And then my mom and dad came down on Sunday. So they stayed over uh, last night. They just left uh, an hour or so ago. So it was nice to be able to spend time with them as well. So it was a busy, busy week. Luna has been meeting a lot of new people. <laughs> She's meeting the flute choir today for the first time. So it is now one o'clock and they come in about 45 minutes. So I need to make sure that I take her for a really quick little walk around the block before the ladies come because I wanna make sure that she gets a little bit of excitement out on the walk before she meets uh, five new ladies who are all going to be coming into the house to play the flute. I did test her this morning. She's never, obviously she's never heard the flute. Uh, she's heard Nicholas play the bassoon now a few times during his practice times. Uh, and she did bark a little bit at the noise, but she settled easily. So I had her in the kitchen with me and I, I practiced a little bit this morning so that she could see the instrument, sniff the instrument, hear that it was okay. And uh, she, she did, she got a little anxious at first. Uh, she did bark once, um, but then, you know, I gave her a cookie and she sniffed the instrument again and she decided that it was okay it wasn't going to hurt her and uh and and all was well so we'll just have to take it slow this afternoon because one flute is different from six flutes all playing together at the same time so we'll give it a go and i completely got off of what i was going to show you next which was my glendon place which is real tend to have tends to happen down the rabbit trail we go so this is the, the Witch's Wheel by Glendon Place. This is what it looks like. And I am stitching this on the Called For Fabric, which is a 32 count Picture This Plus by, uh, so by Picture This Plus. And the colorway is called Solar. And mine isn't quite so hot, hot orange. I mean, it, it's very 
bright, but it's not as neon as what the photo shows. Now what I've done is I've taken a little video of my progress because the, I, I still have my work on my floor frame upstairs. So I just took a couple of minutes of video in order to uh, to share a little bit more cl up close because I made some error. I made one error in my ca in my counting, which put the t whole top of the hat off by one stitch. So um, I'm not taking it out. I'm simply going to rework, and I've I've fixed. I've reworked most of it already. So I'm going to put the little video in right here. So here's my progress on the witch's wheel. As I had suspected, well, I had suspected on Friday that I was off, but I checked it and I couldn't find an error, so I kept going with the hat. And then I got all the way around to here and then discovered that in fact, yes. What I did was I made the mistake way back. Where was the mistake? can't even remember but I think it was somewhere in here where I had gone up one over one one too many too high and so I was this whole top part of the hat was one stitch too high Luna's making herself at home on the bed <laughs> so what I did was I decided not to take it all out I thought I'm I'm just gonna try and work with this instead so I simply doubled this line here, I doubled this line in here to make that match up so that the inside of the square would be correct. And now I have the proper spacing in here for the beads. So you can see there's the original and there's mine, pretty close. So the only thing I'm gonna to have to watch out for and I'm gonna make sure that I take care of it before I put this piece away until next Halloween is that this hat will be one square closer to the border than it is in the picture, but it shouldn't affect any of the other motifs that are surrounding it because I can take the counting of the pots from the bottom part of the hat here that is actually correct. And then the, the mice that surround it. I might have to fudge a couple other little spots, but really barely anything at all. And I think uh, I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. So she almost has an entire hat. So hopefully later this week I can finish it up for her. And I agree, she's a little scary looking. They, they are a little bit scary looking. But when you put in the cats and the mice and the spiders, I think it's really quite a marvelous Halloween piece been fun to stitch. So we'll see what we can do for this week. Pretty fun, right? It's a it's a really fun piece. And I figure if I'm only going to ever stitch, I mean, never say never. For now, it's my only Halloween whip. And if I'm only going to stitch one, you better, I'm going to make it a really Halloweeny, scary piece. So I think it fits the bill. Okay, so that's uh, that's what I'm working on. I have been doing a fair bit of knitting. Luna has been sticking fairly close. Uh, she's still, you know, she's still acclimatizing. She's still getting used to us, getting attached to us. Uh, she's still probably a little nervous that, you know, something's gonna happen and we're gonna either take her back to the shelter or maybe she thinks we're gonna take her back home. I, I don't know, you know, who knows what a dog is thinking. But she, she doesn't really stray too far from my side. So she will follow me. You know, I left a bunch of stuff upstairs and I kept forgetting. So I went upstairs and then downstairs and upstairs and downstairs. I must have gone upstairs five times in the span of 10 minutes. And she followed me every time, up and down, up and down. And uh, now she has, uh, she's flaked out over on the couch. So we'll see. But I'm gonna take her for a little walk in a minute, as I said. Okay, so that's what I've been working on. Again, I've been doing some knitting. Other than that, it's been a very, very, oh, and sewing. I sew every day, so I've been sewing as well. Uh, but I, I do have, uh, I'm going to a little retreat this coming weekend. I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with Luna first. 
uh, she's staying home. She's staying here, and uh, and Nicholas and Sarah will be here, and my sister-in-law will be here for part of the time. My father-in-law will be here for part of the time. So I need to make sure that I have it completely sorted out that uh, that she's not going to be home alone too long by herself. I mean, I'm not against leaving the dog home alone. She's uh, you know she's very good, but while we're still while she's still getting used to us in the house I think it's important that we don't leave her alone for too too long you know not all day so I have to work that out but I'm going to a retreat short small little retreat just uh, you know 20 people or so at uh, the Elmhurst in Ingersoll and I it's the one that I go to a few times a year and I love it and I'm really excited to get a fair bit of stitching done this weekend can't wait I have a few bags to show you today. Just a very quick shop update, and then I will uh, I will leave you until later this week. I have put a new small bag up in the shop. So this is a size that fits an eight-inch square Q snap or a hoop or you know small project, something small. Um, it was I have the uh, bobbin and the the small little strawberries tote. So I thought I should put in a few more. This is a fabric you've seen before, if you've um, been visiting with me for a while now. It is a, this is, yeah, this is a rifle, this is a rifle paper co, the Alice in Wonderland series. Um, this is the tea party, the teacups. So I made a small bag. So this fits the eight inch square Q-snap. Uh, the size on this is, what is it? Nine and a half by I only know my cut sizes. My cut, I cut 12 and a half, I cut 10, yeah, 12 and a half by 10 and a half, and then you lose an inch in the putting of it together. So uh, I can do the math. Uh, and I put a fun, I used this lining in both of my new bags this week because it was just fun. And I love the, the color, this pink color matched beautifully. So there's a few of those. This is the small. That's new this week. The size of it, the fabric you've seen before, but the size of it is new. And the other one that I've got, this is so fun. I only ha I have limited quantities of this, and I only made a large size. So this is a large flat telephone, pink retro telephone bag. That's so fun. I love it. I only have six sets. This is the large, and I used that fun. Uh, fabric that I used in the lining there. That's the notions pouch that comes with it. And then I also use that as the lining inside there. Isn't this a fun fabric? I love this. I love, love this print. It's so fun. And I've paired it with a navy twill on the bottom. So I have six of these. I have a couple of uh, generously sized drawstrings I think I have three three drawstrings, but I still have to finish making those. And um, two, I have two large uh, wedge totes, this sort of sweater size. But again, I have to I have to finish making one to take photos of it first. So I have six of these sets available in the shop, and that's it. That's it. That's it. So. I, I'm always a little disconcerted when it's such a short episode. I feel like I should be talking for much, much longer. But if I don't get a move on, then I won't have enough time to prepare the dog. So I better get to that. So don't forget, head on over to the Facebook group if you, first of all, if you'd like to meet a whole bunch of other really nice stitchers and also to enter this week's giveaway. Have a great week. Have a great week. Happy stitching. Me again. I'm back. I uh, just had a great afternoon with the flute choir. So I just wanted to, um, and there was something else that I forgot. I forgot to share with you that I, I really wanted to share today. So I've just come back for a few minutes before I get on and edit this so that I can share it with you. She did beautifully. Took her for a walk, uh, Luna, the dog. 
She was very excited when the cars pulled into the driveway. So I, I stayed out there with her on the lead. Uh, we met all the ladies. Now she was a little overexcited, so I'm glad she was on the leash because she was a little bit jumpy. Not too bad, but um, if she hadn't been on the lead, I would have been worried about that she might have knocked one of them over. So I kept her on the lead and that went well. Brought her inside, she stayed on the lead while um, we started playing. So what I did was I had them start playing and I just sort of conducted, let her get used to the sound. She was excellent. She didn't pull in the lead. She barked a couple of times at the very beginning when we first started, but then she calmed right down. So two thumbs up. It went beautifully. The other thing that I really wanted to make sure that I shared with you because it was such a sweet thing to receive in the mail, I received this card. This handmade card from Virginia. Uh, I won't share her last name. I don't have her permission. So Virginia, Virginia just sent me a little thank you in the mail because she'd won a Because Monday giveaway and she's from Texas. So included in her uh, look at this, look at this, look at the detail on that daisy. Look at that. It's so sweet. I love that. She sent a postcard uh, with some pictures from her home state, which is Texas. I briefly mentioned this on the Friday video because John saw this postcard and he's like, wow, I never knew that Texas had landscape like that. And so now we both really want to go and visit your state because it looks amazing. Thank you, Virginia. That was really sweet. That was very kind. She also sent me the cutest keychain. Now I have decided to put um, an extra house key and my mail key on this because it's a lot smaller than the massive wad of keys that I carry around with me. And this is the perfect thing to take on a walk with Luna around the neighborhood. Isn't that cute? Look at these things. This is really, really nice. Armadillo, hat. Virginia, thank you. Thank you so much. That was really kind. Okay, so now I really am gonna wrap it up and I hope you guys have a fantastic week. And I'll see you later. Happy switching.